We got an old Alice tractor here. Customer brought in, wanted us to sell for them. Middle bearing of some sorts making some noise up in the box. So we didn't think we were gonna do anything with it at all, but there's about a foot of snow on the ground right now. It snowed for about 24 to 36 hours. Looks like it's a 169.0575 or 0576. But we're gonna go ahead and put this snowblower unit here on it. And I've never done one of these actually. But everything appears to be here. It shouldn't be too terribly bad and then I'll show you how it goes with blowing some snow here. So I've got it here on a lift table. We're basically just gonna bring it on over. Lift it straight up. Get everything lined up with both of them and hopefully everything with the snowblower will be good too. We said everything was good, but we all know how that goes. sure exactly how wide this is it looks to be about 36 inches it's got a model number here on the side Let's see what that is looks like this is a one six nine four five two one or four five three one maybe got a different package number there so it looks like So it looks like there. out of the frame here that's gonna sit up and under there straight on top so this piece right here is gonna sit directly on top of here you can actually kind of halfway see a mark where it's been here before on both sides but it's gonna sit there and then the pin is just gonna clip in on the back side view here just of what was going on there as we pushed it forward so we these top clips the whole thing kind of kind of flipped up halfway the top clips just slid in onto the top axle piece there and then on the back side here 
we're just gonna go ahead and put in those two cotter pins. So they go through here and then through the metal here that's a piece of the snow blower. So there's, there's one of those on both sides, one here and then one over there. We're gonna put those pins in real quick, get all of our belts and everything put on. And I think we're just gonna use a big pry bar here to go ahead and lift this front end up just a tiny bit is what I think it needs to happen anyway. partially in there anyway, there it goes. And the other side, same thing. You're just gonna wanna throw that in there real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna need to You can see there, there's two pulleys there. One here and one there. The belt really shouldn't be off of them, but the belt could be twisted up or something like that, which I think this one is partially twisted up. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and ride that through so it's on the right side like it should be, which this one is actually, it's, it's going the right way. You just wanna make sure it's untwisted. And we're gonna come back here to these. We're gonna put that belt on here. Get us a good angle here. These uh, tractors have so many, so many different attachments. It's not even funny, you know. They're just great, great tractors. But this one, the clutch, you can see the clutch here. So that's gonna go. On the inside pulley here, it looks like, as far as the clutch. We're going to straighten out all these belts once again. Make sure they're the right way they need to go. Pull them out to the side if you need to, but let's see here. Yep, so that looks pretty good. Now we're going to come up here, go up over the top on the back side. I've got it up over the back there. Now all I've got is I've got a 916 here, along with the ratchet. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure this bolt here is tight going all the way through. Otherwise it'll spin. But if you tighten that up, make sure you're good. That one's pretty tight. But then all you've gotta do is come here and up, and that belt will pop right on the back side there. Of course, keep your fingers out of the way. If you slip off of it or something like that, but right on the back side there and you're all set and ready to rock so everything's lined up good at that point it's got good spring to it we've got everything on the other side there everything's all lined up under there so that's all good on the other side all we have to finish up is we have to put the for the hydraulic lift here we've got to put it back on So you may have to move the hydraulic lift up and down depending on where we're at. The hydraulic lift goes into here. So whether you have a foot pedal lift or a hydraulic lift, that's where it goes. So looks like the front of the snowblower would need to come up a little bit in order for that to slide in there. So I'm just gonna drop this table down a tiny bit. See what that does for us here. Not quite far enough, but almost there. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, but 
Looks like we're pretty close here. Yep. Nice and easy in there. Go ahead and throw our pin in the back side here. Most of the time there's a washer on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fire this thing up. And we're going to go ahead and try to take care of this extremely large snow drift that we got out the back door here. I brought this unit in just in case this were to happen, but what we've got here. Kind of hard to see there, huh? We'll get a better picture once we get this door open. I haven't opened it yet this morning, but we're, we've got some pretty good uh, snow drifts going on there. So, and this is a slope coming down into here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get that thing fired up, turned around, and see how she does. So we just got it opened up here. Go ahead and give this thing a whirl, see what happens. 